This is an e-magnetic valve that is installed in this refrigerator of Samsung. Why did they use and install it in this refrigerator? Let me explain everything in this video. This refrigerator has three compartments, and its refrigeration system design and working is not like a normal refrigerator. Due to these three compartments in the refrigerator, the gas flow is also separated separately in this refrigerator. Now, I will tell you the capacity of this refrigerator in liters. This topmost compartment is the fridge. This compartment in the center of this refrigerator is a variable fridge in which those food items are kept which could smell, like fish, etc. and to keep the smelly raw food smell out of other food items. The bottom compartment of the refrigerator is a freezer. You can see a complete evaporator is installed in it. Three types of pipes are installed in it. You can place different kinds of food items here in this refrigerator compartment to freeze them. This compartment can be as cold up to minus 25 degrees. Let me show its specification sticker. So you can pause the video and watch the liter capacity of this refrigerator, as I showed the compartments of this refrigerator. Now let me show where the electronic magnetic or e-magnetic valve is installed in the refrigerator. These are the e-magnetic valves installed in the refrigerator. The filter dryer is installed here, and through the filter, the pipe inputs inside these e-magnetic valves. After this, pipes with yellow color, red color, and the one with no color are installed here. After this, a capillary tube is installed. A separate cooling system is made for each refrigerator compartment to control the cooling electronically. The benefit is that the e-magnetic valve stops the gas flow when any compartments cool at their maximum temperature. Now let me demonstrate to you how these e-magnetic valves work. I will now demonstrate how these e-magnetic valves work, which I have opened from the refrigerator. But before this, let me explain the working of the conventional and the refrigeration system installed in this refrigerator, which will make you understand the e-magnetic valve working better. If those persons, who know how the conventional refrigeration system work, then well and good, but those who don't, let me explain to you as well. The conventional refrigeration system has a compressor, a condenser, and an evaporator. The gas flows from the discharge pipe toward the condenser. The gas heats up inside the condenser, but at the ending pipe of the condenser, the gas starts to cool down a little bit. The gas in liquid form passes through the dryer and flows towards the evaporator. But the medium in between the dryer and the evaporator through which the gas flows is a capillary tube, where the expansion process takes place and gas gets colder and flows inside the evaporator. Then the cold gas flows in the suction pipe toward the compressor and gets compressed. And thus, the cycle keeps taking place. Now how does the refrigeration system works, installed in this refrigerator? A four-way refrigeration system is installed in this refrigerator. Let me explain to you how it works in simple words. Same as the conventional system, a compressor is installed, which has the suction and the discharge lines. A condenser is installed inside the fridge body. Then when the gas flows further from the dryer, this is the place where they have broadened the system. Let me elaborate further, two magnetic valves are installed in the refrigerator to make a four-way refrigerator system. These E-magnetic valves are controlled electrically to control the required cooling temperatures in each refrigerator compartment. I have marked these points to show that these are the capillary tubes. The capillary tube for each compartment is different, and each compartment has its own evaporator. The gas flowing through each evaporator then flows in a single pipe towards the suction pipe in the compressor. And this is how the four-way refrigeration system of this refrigerator works. Let me explore how this e-magnetic valve works and what is inside it. As I said that four-way refrigeration is made through this valve. But this valve is a three-way refrigeration valve. This pipe in the e-magnetic valve is the input. The yellow colored pipe can be used for the fridge evaporator. This pipe on the other side is the output for the freezer. These two pipes are joined together and this pipe moves toward the input of the second valve. See, this pipe can be used for the fridge evaporator. The red colored pipe will be used for the freezer. So by joining two valves together, a single valve is created, which works as a four-way valve. This tells us what the human mind is capable of. Now I have separated these pipes from one another and opened the cover of the valves from the top. As Samsung has manufactured this e-magnetic valve for their refrigerator, both the valves are different from each other. 
How? Let me explain this to you as well. This is the main pipe gas supply. This pipe goes inside the valve. This pipe is directly attached to the main pipe. And when we pass electricity to the valve, it will turn on. This pipe will stay attached, and the gas flow will pass through the yellow pipe. The yellow pipe will pass no gas if no electricity passes through it. Now how is this valve different than the first I told you about? This will be the input of the valve. The gas will directly flow through this output pipe. This red pipe is not directly attached to the input pipe as it is attached to the solenoid installed inside the valve. When the electricity passes, the red pipe will flow gas through it. Both are reversed, but the functioning is the same. The company has manufactured it according to their need and work. Now to test it, you will need a multimeter. It has a single coil inside. Attach the multimeter probes with the connector. You will see a reading on the multimeter. I am getting 2.3 kilo ohms of reading on the multimeter, this means that is a bad E magnetic valve. The valve I have now is bad. The value on the multimeter you should get must be in ohms, not kilo ohms. I will replace these valves with the new ones now. Now the question that struck my mind is whether these E magnetic valves are repairable or not. I have opened them from the top. It comes out. It is a solid piece made of plastic with a coil inside. If the coil burns out, you can replace the coil if you have the same coil. Take the coil out this way. And replace it with the other coil. If this plunger gets bad, this can also be replaced. But repairing the plunger from the inside is not possible, nor can this coil be repaired. This is for this video. I will see you in the next one. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next video. And subscribe it's free. Thank you.